Hello everybody, welcome to Young Composer Reacts to the smile. Skirting on the surface, I guess you could say. <laughs> I make reaction videos, I'm doing them because I wanted to get out of my comfort zone back about a year ago because I had chronic pain in my arms and stuff from playing so much guitar. So I was like, well maybe I can't make all the music I would want to make, but maybe I can get views on YouTube by talking about stuff. So we're doing that today. I'm putting out a video about Muse and about this uh, song. I did the the uh, the first uh, the Smile single, but I'm a bit late. I'll do the other ones as well. Let's go. This is a good job, right? This is a good job to be a musician, and it's a good job to react to stuff. I mean, it's not my job, but it'd be pretty awesome if it was my job. I don't know if I want it to be my job. There's a kind of violence that I feel when I listen to this stuff, where it's like, I really want to be those people, you know? I really want to do what they do. That's so cool, man. The The rhythm is so beautiful. The drums are played so beautifully and tightly and, and delicately. The sound of that guitar, I think, uh, must be... in. I think I saw that song about a year ago in the virtual Gatsonsbury performance by The Smile. I think that's a Les Paul. The sound is really, it's not Radiohead-like. I don't, I don't think they use Les Pauls in Radiohead. And uh, wow, man. It's, it's so simple. There's not a lot going on, right? I don't even know if there's a bass. I wasn't paying attention. Bad, bad composer. <laughs> but yeah, just the guitar, the, the the light, light voice. I think this uh, this sounds like D minor to me. It's probably is. Someone fact check me, fact check my uh, my alternative facts there. But what do I even say? I have to keep going. They're going Hendrix on us. I love when people do this. I think the drums were still going. I think they recorded with the drums still playing, but they just faded them out and, and, and put, you know, faded it back in. And coming back to those chord changes with those beautiful two minors and, and, and those, um, those horns, are those horns? I, I'm having the same question I had in, uh, oh, come on. You will never work in television again, right? It's like, are those horns? Are those guitars? I think they're horns or or since. Yeah, I love. I really love when people use the studio 
as an instrument because you can't do that live. You can't fade drums out. You know, if it's a small room, there's no way people are gonna hear the actual drums. You can do whatever you want in the studio, man. That's so cool. I don't want anyone to accuse me of cheating, so I'm keeping that in. I'm prepping the bass, alright? I never heard the, the song, alright? I'm flexing my uh, relatively mediocre, <laughs> relative ear skills. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about the bass a bit. So there's actually bass uh, that's pretty cool there at the ending, where he he uh, uses like ghost notes um, resting his finger on the, on the string like this something like that my my tone is not good but you know i love i love that stuff you know it's the uh, subtle nuances like that because when you think about it it's just playing roots it's octave work it's not a complex bass line by any means, but the the human touch though, the little percussive element with the, you know, just, just, oh, this is so cool, man. Like the delays and the, the atmospheric ambience, you know, the, the two points in the song where they, they take the drums out and the drums are a huge part of this song. They're, as I said, they're, they're gorgeous, you know, they're perfect. They take him out. They they let the guitars 
do the spatial work there with the, the delays and the horns and it's just so effing beautiful man I wish I could swear so much more on YouTube but I, I don't know how it works exactly with monetization I'll look into it I'll, I'll, I'll make a full video about it I'll do a full review of that stuff for you guys <laughs> I've gone off the rails beautiful Tom stuff you know at the end just the vocals are perfect so that's either Tom being perfect or them using studio magic and, and knowing Tom you know it's it could be it could be any of those things I can't count the rhythm I don't know why I tried to do it but I just can't I think it's something weird with uh, sixes and fives going on but I don't know where the switches are so I don't know how to count it Maybe it's in four. Maybe it's one of those pyramid songs where the things where it's like, it's uh, it's brain effing you, but at the end of the day, it's just uh, it's just four, and you're being tricked. Wow. Yeah. I don't know what to say, man. This song is really, really beautiful. I can't wait for the album. I think I'm gonna do a, a album review. Not not listening to the album, but just like listening to it on my own in the dark. And then making an album review or something. I don't know. I'll do either of those things. I have to listen to the other Smile songs. I just don't even, like, I'm not going to say anything else. It's just moved me on God. For real. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, see you around.